The U.S. State Department says the battle against Islamic State is not over yet, adding that American soldiers will be engaged in countering the terror group in Syria for some time to come. The message contradicts President Donald Trump's claim on Friday that ISIL has been fully defeated. This is not the end of the fight against ISIS. Uh, that will go on, but it will be a different kind of fight. ISIS still lives on in various cells and in the minds of many of the people uh, in the areas that we've liberated. Our forces will stay on uh, in very limited numbers uh, in uh, the Northeast and Antanth to continue our uh, clearing operations and stability operations against ISIS uh, for a period of time uh, not to be determined at this point. The statement comes after U.S.-backed Syrian forces declared on Saturday that ISIL had been defeated. That just seized the village Bagus, which was said to be the last pocket of ISIL resistance in Syria. In this video, you can see the remnants of the jihadist camp as well as destroyed vehicles. Prior to the news of the victory at Bagus, Donald Trump had repeatedly told the world that the caliphate had already been destroyed. We have a lot of uh, great announcements having to do with Syria and our success with the eradication of the caliphate. And that'll be announced over the next uh, 24 hours. And by the way, as of probably today or tomorrow, we will actually have 100 percent of the caliphate in Syria, 100 percent. The U.S. will soon control 100 percent of ISIS territory in Syria. In another short period of time, like hours, you'll be hearing hours and days, you'll be hearing about the caliphate. It'll, it's 100 percent defeated. We just took over, uh, you know, you kept hearing it was 90 percent, 92 percent, the caliphate in Syria. Now it's 100 percent. We just took over. It's always going to be premature to de declare the complete uh, defeat of ISIS uh, as long as the U.S. remains inside Syria and inside Iraq. I think uh, we can expect uh, another series of delays because uh, uh, ISIS provides a pretext uh, for the United States to stay in, in the eastern third of Syria uh, which it occupies today, and which just happens to contain the uh, oil and gas industry of Syria. It will continue to um, use ISIS as an excuse uh, for, or as a pretext, to conduct, uh, to occupy parts of the country, to conduct military operations, and so on. Um, and will they be uh, capable of, uh, you know, eliminating the rest of ISIL? Not until the United States gets out and Syria is in charge of the entire, um, of its entire territory.